Alexander Hagen. I am the CEO of a medium-sized tech company in Silicon Valley. Previously, I was a financial analyst, financial reporter, and research engineer in telecommunications. Uh, today, I would like to speak to you about uh, YouTube, uh, current policies of uh, generating information. So a long time ago, a good friend of mine in Santa Cruz, uh, Ron Record, uh, had said he wanted to invent something called MeTV, where we could all share online from our living rooms. And then I thought of him uh, when YouTube was started. Um, and um, this was quite a while ago, obviously. I don't know if it was 10 or 15 years ago or 7, but it was uh, before YouTube started. And then they came along and... Um, it's been a given that this is a medium for people to offer their own content. And so now they've created a uh, two-tiered system. Uh, so to give you an example, I wrote a piece uh, about Libya uh, called Something Like Libya, What Rachel Maddow for Zakaria Won't Tell You. Um, and I was looking for it. And then uh, I put in some of the keywords because normally I would get to this one. It got like uh, hundreds of uh, up ranks, uh, up votes. Uh, I would get to it in the first couple of pages with that many of the words from the title. But as you see, it's just pure MSNBC. It goes on to things that have nothing to do with Libya. It's just MSNBC. I'm not even putting MSNBC in here. I'm putting in CNN. Um, so uh, eventually this will run out. Uh, and we will get to citizen journalism, but it's going to give us all of the corporate journalism first. So let's see what happens. Um, I mean, this is just astonishing uh, because there's thousands of citizen videos uh, in here. Um, so how do I even find them? Um, it's just astonishing. So. This is very scary. This is what Russian meddling is really about. It's about um, the people in power increasing their ability to control the situation so that uh, socialists or whatever don't uh, rise to power. So they think they're smarter than the citizenry um, and uh, they're controlling our thoughts now in the most brazen uh, manner. So I'm afraid we we have to ask YouTube to uh, correct these policies. So let's see, this may have made their um, algorithm completely flip out. So let's see, what if we just put in the word Libya? Okay. Um, and now uh, RT shows up as the second uh, uh, because they, they I subscribe to RT, I suppose. So it's completely different here when I don't put Rachel Maddow's name in. So somehow it just drives the MSNBC algorithm through the roof. Um, so here, uh, so this is extremely weird because now we're getting sort of the behavior of the old YouTube because perhaps it's not keying it off of news. I just don't know why. So finally, I got to uh, my own channel on YouTube and uh, dug up this old uh, rock opera. I tried to make a second draft. It would have been like ten more drafts. It's just the raw materials, but it uh, it really uh, was a big uh, statement for me. <clears throat> um, and it's sort of ironic because towards the end, uh, one of the um, this guy Rais posted a lot of his material about Libya, and of course. Um, if you put in user Alexandu, you'll get my channel, or Alexanda, if you prefer. Um, so, but poor Mr. Rais, who actually posted stuff straight from Africa before anybody else, is now gone. So, YouTube is effectively dead, um, but sort of twitching. Um, so it, uh, it's just a uh, complete random draw, whether your uh, result will be parsed and run through the state media filter. My name is Alexander Hagen. Uh, we have to do something about uh, this. Uh, that might mean creating new alternatives or patronizing places that do video uh, that you have some trust in the integrity, the ownership not to apply uh, mind control filters. Thank you.